I'm, you know, I, I thought against Oklahoma, we were uh, very cut in. I, I thought we controlled a lot of the game, uh, executed stuff. Um, uh, today, we were, we were just kind of all over the place. Um, credit to them. Uh, you know, Samuels has made a lot of improvement. Uh, Bain, you know, obviously made big, big shots. Uh, uh, Nemhart has, has really improved. And, uh, you know, but we still, we keep, we keep battling. We keep giving ourselves chances, but we have to play smarter. Um, got to can't have some breakdowns on defense, and we got to take care of the ball on offense and make have a little better shot selection, a little better consistency if if we're going to make some progress. And um, you know, Mike McGurl's been pretty consistent. And just you know, just didn't give us much, and then you miss five straight free throws. Um, you know, you just keep hurting yourself, uh, you know, that's, and, you know, give yourself a chance. And um, so it's just, uh, you know, it's frustrating, disappointing, disappointing for the guys. They care. They, uh, they prepare to win. That's why we're close. The coaches do a great job. Uh, you know, we, you can blame it on, you know, youth, new, whatever. And, and that, no one wants to hear that. It's just you got to. We got to get better. We got to be a little smarter. Got to get some consistency where we know we're getting something out of uh, this. Uh, getting a consistent production out of guys every you know every game, and and that just so far it hasn't happened. Antonio got hurt Sunday, um, jarred his shoulder, sprain, and just kind of in a walkthrough thing. It's crazy stuff, um, you know. But it's kind of been typical of our season. Uh, that we've had to deal with one thing after another. Um, you know, obviously they make four threes. Uh, we lost two guys. We lost Bain twice. Uh, you know, he's a pretty good player. He's, uh, he's number one on the scouting report. We got to, you know, and then the last one was a loose ball. Um, you know, take care of it. Uh, it's, I mean, go get it. I, I would have dove on it. Uh, they the officials are always on me for going on the court too much, but I, maybe I need to dive on it and get a technical. Maybe I'll wake up our guys uh, and get them to play a little harder. I don't know, but uh, you know there was there was I, I, what they have four threes to finish the half. Yeah, and uh, you know that when you think about it, the last one's probably the difference in the game. When you go back, that little play, that loose ball, go get it, dive on it, don't let them get a shot off. But we obviously we didn't do that, and they made they jumped up and made a big one. Obviously, the guy sitting next to you um, played really hard tonight, and uh, I know it's got to be painful for Xavier. Um, just how would you assess his night, and just how he's been able to step up in a leadership capacity? Well, he cares, and you asked about leadership the other day. He's I think he spoke up. He's speaking up more. Um, you know, he, he's he's trying to be more productive. Um, I think once in a while he tries too hard, and he does tries to do a little too much. But I'd rather have that than than, than the other way. Um, but he's you know he's given us a chance, uh, and now we got to have some other guys follow that and and give us a chance to to be successful. And Xavier, this is kind of new territory for you being at 500 this late into a season. Just what is your mindset right now? What kind of sense of urgency maybe do you have? going forward? Uh, just getting back some more, watching film, you know, getting these guys ready and uh, focused in on what's coming hand in Texas coming up next. Uh, just getting a dub there in Texas. That's our big mindset right now. Uh, we're taking it game by game. We just got to do a little bit better. Came really close to another 20-point game. How would you assess your play tonight? Uh, just doing what I can to help my team win. Uh, I don't worry about the stats right now. Xavier, how do you attribute the, the missed assignments at the end of the last three and a half minutes of the first half when they Got some shooters loose. Uh, we broke down in probably the worst time of the game, worst part of the game. You know, end of the half, end of the game as well. Uh, just can't can't keep breaking down those pos uh, positions. So, got to execute and um, just not break down. Really, that's about it. Xavier, is it uh, hard to listen to your coach say that you know the team isn't just making these small plays like free throws and diving on the ball, and that might be the difference in a game? 
Uh, definitely, you know, we never know. It's a 50 50 ball for a chance, you know. Uh, it can go either way, it can be the, uh, be the possession that helps us win. So we just got to be on our horse, um, being more active, being more um, competitive, and just having that edge and that fight, especially now being seven, uh, 500 right now. So we got to get some wins, got to get some uh, toughness to us. Bruce, it's just another one of those games where you guys had your opportunities down the stretch and it just doesn't end up going your way. Is it, is it that simple or is things just not bouncing your way or is there well, something kinda, you can do? You know, you look at Oklahoma, you know, we kind of dominate. I, I shouldn't say dominate, but we, we were in control a lot of that game and executed, did a lot of good, way, good things, but they came back and found a way to win at home and made the plays. Now, this game, probably TCU deserved to win, but it looked like maybe we were going to be the one that come back and find a way. And But, you know, to their credit, you know, the tipping at the end, David makes a big shot. I I, I should have called timeout, hindsight, get our defense set. We got a young team. Um, you know, we still made him make a tough, tough, you know, tough shot. And Emhart, he's been their go-to coach, told them many times in the Scott Report, they go to him at the end of the game. Uh, he, he put up a tough one. I, I haven't watched it, but obviously we didn't we didn't get the box out, and uh, they got the tip and to win the game. Yeah, I guess in, in regards to that, I mean, how how tough is a situation like that when you have a a team that is this young in a late game situation like that? It, it's, I mean, it's tough because they haven't been through it, whether it's offensively, defensively, and um, you know it. it and I hate to say you keep learning from it, but uh, you know that's that's part of it. And uh, you know, it, I, I, I I like our guys. They care. They keep competing. Um, I believe in them. We just got to get a little smarter uh, within the game and at the end of the game. And if if we do within the game, it's going to make the end of the game a little easier. Yeah, coach. Just general thoughts on what what David gave you guys tonight off the bench. Well, you know, Cardi. Gets in foul trouble. David has to play a lot of minutes. Uh, obviously, the big shot at the end. He also, I thought he did a nice job of helping us in the first half until that last three minutes of, of, of keeping us in the game and uh, made some nice plays. Uh, you know, it, and, and again, I've, and I've told you guys, I've told David many times, I just need him to be a little more intense, a little more uh, a sense of urgency every day. Uh, he's got to get a little better habits, and, and I think he can be a good player and help us. Uh, you know, but it, it, we need everyone. We've got to have some sense of urgency. He's got to be there and some consistency if we're going to make any progress. Bruce, going back to Xavier, it's he almost had back-to-back 20-point -back games. And what, what what ways recently have you seen him maybe elevate his game even more? Um, I think, you know, one, it, it really matters to him. Uh, I think, two, a little bit. Uh, I think early it, it was too much. He was – he was it mattered so much. He he was just so tense. And, I, you know, I've told you guys, I told him, smile, relax, let it come. Let the game come. Do what you do. Um, I think he's, he's letting the game come a little bit. We're running stuff for him. The guys are finding him. Um, and he and he's scoring in, in more than one, and just shooting the threes all the time. You know, tonight he goes one for six, but still ends up with 19. He gets to the free throw line, gets to the hoop. You know, he's he's scoring in more ways. So um, I think that's helping him, which is helping us. Xavier Bruce mentions, coach mentions about being that guy on the billboard. Is it tough to be that guy in the billboard this year? I'll just go out there and play my game, you know. <clears throat> Don't worry about what outsiders say about me or anybody else think about me. I'm just doing everything I can to help the team get a W. Xavier's at a focal point to put the ball on the, on the floor tonight, get to the basket and get to the free throw line as well. Uh, we just just attacked what the defense gave us, you know. Our uh, game plan was uh, that they, we knew they were going to be uh, late on ball screens as well. Um, that they were going to tag late. Uh, they were going to have some guys open in corners. For hit. If we would have knocked down some shots, it would have definitely helped us out tonight. Bruce, I know you touched on this yesterday, but when you uh, have had so much winning the last couple of years, how do you personally handle seven losses in 14 games now? Do you, what do you do to uh, keep I, your head straight? It's, it's helping them, helping them get better. And they got to want to get better. They got to stick. I told them after, you know, we have to continue to prepare like they've done. They got to continue to care like they've done. And now in practice, they, they, we, 
we have to do a better job of executing. Uh, some of it, every day it seems somebody else is hurt. We never have continuity um, with practice. That, that has hurt us, and, and I'm not making excuses. It's, it's a fact of life. Um, you know, it's tough to go five on five because, you know, we just, we've had this guy out, that guy out. You know, Cardi, I'll be honest, may not practice for a couple days now. Uh, so that'll not be, make it any easier to get some continuity. But, uh, you know, I just, you know, as a coach, I got to help, help them. That's, that's my job. Uh, several years ago, you asked, how do I stay positive? Because that's my job. I want to have a strong faith. Um, and I, I, I've always said I'm a miracle. I shouldn't be. I was never a great player. Um, it was a miracle to get to this position, have this opportunity. I've, I've worked hard, and I've done it because I think I have my heart and mind in the right place, and that's with the kids and helping them, helping them be successful off the court and on the court and care about them later. And if you do the good things, good things will happen. And that's, all, that's the only way I know how to do it. And um, I'm not perfect by any means, but I, I care, and I, I hope that work ethic and – uh, passion uh, it carries over to the guys, and you know, I get David a little passion. You know that would be nice. Get Levi a little more passion. That would be nice. And I, you know, but I'm going to keep trying, keep trying, and maybe we can break through. Is uh, Cardi hurt? Is that why he's not going to practice for a couple yeah, days? He's or? been hurt every day. He's got his hand tape. His knee hurts. <laughs> Everything hurts. So. And then the TCU had uh, 10 threes. What was you know, some of the main issues in uh, defending the three tonight? Well, if you take away the four at the end of the half, it's pretty much different. But you still look at the defensive numbers, uh, you know, for the game. You know, we, it's, it's pretty good. 33, 37, 52 from the free throw line. We did a great job guarding the free throws, too. So, uh, you know, it's uh, – that's a joke. Uh, but uh, – you know, the one thing you guys had, you know, we were 17 for 29 from two. And I think we got to learn part of being smarter is we can't, we can't shoot every three. And uh, when they're open and we've moved it, you know, that's fine. If not, um, you know, we'll get to the hoop, get to the free throw line. I think Xavier's done a better, little better job of that now. You guys are so close in all these games. What do you think it's going to take to score that extra point and get over the hump in the next one? Um, just execution, being smart with the ball, not trying to uh, rush it and make the hero play. What was going through your mind on that last three-pointer? How did that unfold for you? Um, I was just – coach was always on me about being ready to shoot. And Mike, I seen two go to Mike, and then he just passed it to me, and I was shot it with confidence. Guys, okay, thank you. Appreciate it.